Okay, we retain another interesting integral. We've got the integral from zero out of one of natural log x plus one over x squared plus one dx. Okay, I thought this was interesting because it was kind of like a cross between two problems I did recently. Anyway, to get started with it, what I want to notice is just in the denominator, this x squared plus one, it's making me think we can do a trig substitution on here just using tangent. So what I'm gonna do is we'll set x equal to tan of t. Then I'll get a derivative on this. So for dx, we're gonna have just secant squared t dt. And then let's isolate t by taking arctan on both sides. So we end up with t is just equal to arctan of x. So then let's go ahead and substitute over here. So first taking one, we'll plug in one here. Arctan at one is just pi over four. Then zero, arctan at zero is just zero. Then the numerator is just gonna become ln tan t plus one. Denominator becomes, this is gonna become tan squared t plus one and dx is this stuff. So over here, we're gonna have just secant squared t dt. But then here we have the identity for this, that this is the same thing as secant squared t. So then what happens is this is the same as this, so we get cancellation and that's gonna clean this up just to this right here. But now for this here, the bounds are pretty nice with having zero for the lower bounds. So what I wanna do for this is just use King's principle on it. Okay, so for that, we have this formula that if we have an integral from a to b of f of x, that we can rewrite this as f of b plus a minus x. So then to transform this, what we're saying is this piece right here, this is gonna be our f of x. And what we wanna find is this f of b plus a minus x, a and b being zero and pi over four. So you put that together, what we want is, we want f of pi over four minus x, or in this case, t, right? So if we do this, we just notice the bounds are gonna stay the same. So we're going from zero to pi over four, then inputting all this in tangent Plugging in for t with this, we're gonna say this is gonna become tangent pi over four minus t plus one. But then for this right here, what we can do is use the different angle formula for tangent. Let's look at that really quick. So now using this over here, what we have is our a value is gonna be this pi over four and our b value is just gonna be this t. So let's rewrite it in this form. Using this, this is gonna become tan of pi over four minus tan of t over one plus tan pi over four tan of t. But tan of pi over four is just one. So that's gonna be nice right there. That's gonna go away there. Then let's take this plus one and we'll just get a common denominator with this. So if I write this plus one, getting the common denominator of one plus tan of t, that's gonna allow me to add these two things together. And then when we add these two things with the common denominator, what's gonna happen is in the numerator, these tangents are gonna cancel and what we're left with is just gonna be two over one plus tan t. So then let's just take this value and put it back in the integral and see what we can do with this. Okay, now from here with this integral, what we can do is use log properties. We can split up the natural log, but we also can split this up into two integrals. So for the first one, we're just gonna have zero to pi over four. We're just gonna have the natural log of two here. So that's just gonna be a constant value. So that's gonna be easy to deal with. Then for the second part, we're gonna have a minus that I'll put between the integrals. And this is just gonna become natural log one plus tan of t here. But then this thing right here, this is good news because this is exactly the same as this, even though it's kind of messy over here. Just notice we just reversed the order on the tan t plus one. But what I can do is come back we can label this i, our original integral is i, but then this thing right here is also i. So what I can do to kind of make an equation out of this so we can get to our solution is, again, if everything's i, we have an i on the left side of our equation. Let's just add an i on both sides, add an i here. That way what happens is this whole piece is just gonna cancel off. And what we're left with on the left side is gonna be just two i. So from here again, this being a constant, we can just go ahead and integrate this. This is just gonna become natural log of two times x evaluated from zero to pi over four. The zero is gonna be nothing, because that's gonna just zero out. We plug pi over four in here. We're gonna have natural log two times pi over four. 
but we're not quite done because this is two copies. So let's just divide off this two on both sides. Divide off a two here, putting it all together. My final solution for this is just gonna be natural log of two pi over eight. Okay, there you have it. Interesting integral. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.